if you do not have that in that script it would not work your rotation just will stand still so yeah that's basically solved that problem now so now if we run it and if we go back and check it it should hopefully work let's have a look shall we okay let's run it make sure the one on um, your main camera is set to the rotation axis mouse Y at the moment it's mouse X so if I'm trying to look up and down it's gonna make me rotate around so set that to mouse X run the game again and now if I look up and down it should work there we go and as you can see it's been clamped the angles we cannot go higher than 25 at all it stays there and we can fully make him look around it's perfect let's have some directional light in here so game object create other and directional light let's put it so it's not too dark uh, create other cube just to show us that we're moving around uh, press F if you want to zoom into your game objects by the way just place them all around the place so it's just to make sure you know we're moving properly if we're making a good 360 turn no glitches it's all perfect yeah, I'm just going to scatter them all around I'm going to add the gun soon as well because the scope tutorial is not far from here it's going to be very really close and yeah as you can see walking forward we're turning around ah ah it's working perfect excellent looking up and down works like a charm as well fantastic I'm really pleased right let's go to the um, FPS models and I'm just going to drag my first person gun onto the scene as you can see it came all the way down there yeah that's about fine it's pretty big though it really is so um, I'm just gonna change its uh, rotation y to 90 so it's facing towards the z-axis okay all that's now all we need to do now is just scale it down a bit just scale it until it's a reasonable size just position it in front of the camera drag it a bit back that seems a bit far no um that seems about right. We scale a bit let me scale a bit more it's a bit too big. There you go, that's fine. I think that's that's a reasonable size. And now what you wanna do is make sure the gun is the child object of the camera so what we do is click on the gun itself and drag it onto the camera and now it's the child of the camera so if we move up and down the gun will follow like so and if we move around 360 turn it should follow because the camera is attached to the player the gun is attached to the camera so if the camera looks up and down it will follow and if the player moves it, the camera will follow the player so yeah now that we've completed the first tutorial the next tutorial again is not going to be about the scope instead I'm going to show you how to make the exact same script using C Sharp now there's a lot of difference between them so I'll have to re-explain some stuff and yes that's the next tutorial and then after that we're gonna go to the scope yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed yourself I hope you learned something new and I hope you had fun mostly oh yes and by the way if some of the things were unclear to you guys for the video please please do email me on one of my email address which you will see after this video 
at the end of the video, not after this video, sorry. Yeah, email me and ask questions that you don't understand what I was talking about. So yeah, I'll look forward to that as well. Anyways, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.